Hey, it's Uncle Steve here, Forsaken Lee Departed, and I hope you are doing well today. Welcome to the Forsaken Lee Departed YouTube channel. If you're a subscriber, thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate your support. If you're new and stumbled upon this page, why not subscribe? I'm not your typical YouTuber where I present 50,000 YouTube videos a week, but I do like to share my content with you and wherever I explore. All right, today is a special treat. It's been a long time coming, this video, and it's the commentary over the footage of the Birchwood Resort in the Poconos, Pennsylvania. Now, I'm gonna just say this right off the bat. I do not promote going here because you'll probably run into some kind of problem. The caretaker, the cops, whatever the case might be okay uh but in any event why don't you sit back relax enjoy the video when we first got to the resort we saw a small cart and had this topless uh hula dancer on it similar to this one here never giving it any thought of who might have been here we just proceeded and entered into the lobby to start exploring What caught my eye the second we walked into the lobby that there were lights on over the registration desk and down the hall. Then we heard coughing and grunting coming out of one of those side offices. It was clear we were not alone and there was somebody in that office, but foolishly we decided to continue exploring. Then my buddy had to go ring the bell to see if anybody would answer it. Buddy discovers an answering machine in one of the administration's offices and presses the button. Mailbox one, you have one old message. We're here. <laughs> if you die, I love you. <laughs> End of message. Notice the sign directing us to a bowling alley, and of course we had to go take a look. There's a shot of what it looked like back in the day in the corner there. The holes were much too small for my fingers, so I had to palm it. Reason for my sloppy gutter ball. Needless to say, it was a lot of fun. Here we are in a basketball court. Birds flying about inside here. Looks like past documents scattered on the floor. Someone must have tossed them out of the attic storage area. There's a workout room just on the second level there in that doorway. And here we are in the indoor pool. Here's a shot of what it looked like from an old brochure. Notice the white walls here and the warm pine walls now. Must have been a point where renovations were made. And the water still sits stagnant at the bottom. And here we're entering a nice quaint lounge area in front of a nice fireplace. Now this looks like a a gift shop, snack bar, maybe alcoholic beverages were served. Not sure exactly what this was. And glass is just shattered all over the place. I remember when walking through here, whoever was upstairs that was in that side office, I can hear them walking around. We still found it funny that they never confronted us after being here a while, and especially after ringing that bell. 
Now I did a little research and I have found so many videos on YouTube regarding the Birchwood Resort and there are several out there that this gent has confronted the trespassers. It is rumored that he was allowed to shoot whoever was trespassing. Of course not to kill him, maybe in the leg just to stop them, to have them arrested or whatever the case might be. I'm walking across the bridge here. This connects the main building to the sports complex. It comes out overlooking the tennis courts. And uh, up here it looks like there were a few table games. Obviously they're toppled over. Now let's speed it up a little bit to get through here. All right. Now I'm walking down these stairs and right here. See that? I went through the weak step. Uh, if it weren't for the indoor-outdoor carpeting, it could have been a lot worse. An old school roller skate for you. Benches, chairs, and busted up tables scattered about. And hiding behind the curtain here is miniature golf. Not very impressive. It looks like do it yourself platforms with holes. All right, while we're heading down this path, I think it's about time to give you a little history about the Birchwood Resort. It's on 300 plus acres and it was a resort for honeymoon couples and a lover's getaway. The Birchwood opened its doors in 1968 with fully furnished private cabins, sunken jacuzzis, and fireplaces for couples to enjoy their intimacy it was a haven with something for everyone. It was a place where you can do everything or nothing at all. The resort had easy accessibility with its own air park and it was built just a year after the resort opened. Engineers building where all the maintenance is conducted. For certain people trashed and ransacked this place. Papers completely blanketing the floor. Now there's a downstairs here I never filmed, I only took photographs of, but there's uh, all the grounds equipment there, the lawn mowers and gardening tools. Also there was a laundry room down there with these industrial sized washing machines. I guess they did all the bedding and the linens and so on. The resort probably best known today for the incident that happened in 2014 where police captured cop killer Eric Freen. I'm hoping I said that right. Freen. He was hanging out in the airplane hangar for 48 days before being apprehended. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, you can go right to my website and I'll give you the full story on that with images of the hangar and everything. Different rooms here, one for plumbing supplies, one for electric, and another which had all painting supplies in it. They seemed very organized. And this looks like the engineer's office. Everything is so overgrown here as I picked up a few hitchhikers, meaning wood ticks. Been flicking them off the whole ride home. 
Walking along here, looking at all the abandoned chalets, made me feel as if I was on a set of The Walking Dead, going out on a scavenger hunt for supplies and food. Now here's something I didn't know about. During the 1980s and 90s, business began to decline, so the owners were getting creative and started hosting events geared to those who were into fetishism. Spanking and bondage weekends would bring in new customers. Unfortunately, this was not holding out very long, and sadly, the doors closed for the final time, I believe in 1996. Let's go enter one of the chalets. Now, it describes as having two levels with two fireplaces, two love seats, two television sets, and two bathrooms, all for two people. Walking across the kissing bridge and out onto the balcony, looking over Eagle Lake. Nearing the end of our journey, we crossed the street and headed into the lounge where we were greeted by a grand piano. Years of dust covered the lush finish of the piano and the lid was still actually propped open. A diner style bar and seating area with bench seating. In 2018, plans were on the table to rejuvenate the resort, but a definite date to start renovations wasn't set in stone. Due to a fire in March 2021 destroying a huge amount of the property, the plans for renovations were dismissed. And here's where we pretty much ended our journey in this uh, grand room here. There were cops outside and it seemed that they knew we were here, possibly got a call from the caretaker or something. So uh, we decided to exit the building and uh, talk to them. They were pretty cool about everything and knew we were only taking photographs, but warned us that the caretaker would press charges if he knew that we were here trespassing. There is a club downstairs. I believe it was called the Red Baron. Um, I only took photographs. Unfortunately, I didn't shoot any video down there. It was extremely dark. And there you have it, folks, the Birchwood Resort in the Poconos, Pennsylvania. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up on that, all right? And I cannot stress enough, save yourself the trouble. Don't visit this place. I do not promote going there because you will run into some kind of issue when you are there, okay? And please, don't forget to subscribe to the Forsakenly Departed YouTube channel. Welcome back to my subscribers. And I welcome everybody that has stumbled across the page. All right. I will talk to you very soon. Hopefully sooner than later. And you all be well. All right. Peace.